Thank you. Um, and, and, and thank you to the woman for this discussion. Um, I just wanted to say, I am unable to imagine speaking of liberating black women outside black men. You know, because according to my assessment, black men and black women are oppressed by the same people for the same reason. And at this point in time, I know not of any system that exists that is created by black men for black men and against black women in particular. But what I do know for sure is that the colonial white capitalists were able to strategically stratify our natural black family into groups of women, men, and children, which is why there are various institutions that are dedicated and designated to destroy these black people under these several categories. So when we speak of liberating black women, we must equally prepare to liberate the black men, whatever our personal feelings are of them. Because unlike other races, we don't have the privilege of speaking about men the same way other races do. Because what happens to black men at any level happens to black women. So we can't, not now anyway, say we want to be equal to black men because that would suggest we still aspire for the same oppression, if not worse. Mm -hmm. um, we know that the black, um, the black men are, I'm sorry, the black men we think rather are more equal, still get paid less. They do not own any means of production. You know, most of them are languishing in jails. Most of them are killed and die each and every day. So black women today need to collectively strategize and find ways to rebuild the black family because that is our cornerstone for power. If we don't, we will follow the trends of the West and they will come as they have been doing time and again to teach us how we should be as black women. Mm. Um, I think secondly, let me also say we must also guard heavily against the guidance of such women from international borders in directing our blight as black African women. Yes. You know, young women are taught in various institutions, especially the institutions of higher learning, that their mm -hmm. enemy is a black man. You know, a lot of money goes into this type of education or miseducation, if you like. And if we are, we are not aware, you know, this type of mis miseducation antagonizes um, the Black family. Um, I, I don't know, Chair, if you can allow me to use a very sensitive and perhaps controversial subject as an example. Um, yes. You know, we, we speak of rape in marriage lately. Um, and when the mm. education of rape in marriage comes, it often comes firstly to the woman. You know, um, the woman is taken outside of her home to webinars, to seminars, to be taught what rape in marriage is. And when these webinars and seminars constantly happen, the woman moves from one point to the next and she's no longer in the same position with the black man that she lives with at home. And now when the confrontation eventually happens, if at all, you know, their reasoning is not the same because their understanding of issues is not the same. Mm -hmm. So these types of education happen under the guise of liberating black women. And we must guard against that because they take black women outside of the homes that they have built to miseducate them and further frustrate the black family as it exists. So I think when we speak of liberating black women, we must never forget to liberate the black men because we must operate as a family because our oppression um, 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 operates in the same manner as well. Thank you, comrades.